students in this lecture we will be discussing clb method uh, which is a part of gene mutations so clb method is a method of detection of lethal mutagens now detection of mutation can be done uh, by many methods uh, so but mutations let us uh, discuss what are mutations so mutations can be induced or spontaneous this we have discussed already in previous lectures of mutation series and induced mutations are mutations which are caused by mutagens now these indu induced mutations which are caused by mutagens these mutagens can be physical or chemical and induced mutations can be lethal or visible so lethal means that they are detrimental to the organism and it can lead to death now mutations can be present on the sex chromosome or autosome there are different methods for detection of mutation and uh, these mutations can be sex linked mut lethals so this these sex linked lethals can be detected by a method which is called clb method which was devised by muller that is why it is called clb method of detection and there is another method which is called muller 5 method both the methods are in drosophila but we will be focusing on the first method in this lecture which is in your course clb method of detection now sex linked visible uh, mutation can be detected by attached x method but this is not in your course autosomal mutations can be detected by balanced lethal system stradless method in uh, plants and singleton methods in plants but we will be focusing on clb method by muller in this lecture so detection of sex linked lethal mutation is called clb method of detection which was devised by muller and it involves the use of a CLB stock of Drosophila. So CLB stock of Drosophila is called CLB because it carries, uh, Drosophila carries a chromosome which has uh, an inversion in heterozygous state to work as a crossover suppressor which is designated by C. So, um, this chromosome has a gene which is called crossover suppressor gene represented by capital C then a recessive lethal gene cap small l on x chromosome in hexaheterozygous state and a dominant marker uh, which is represented by capital B and it it results in the formation of bara so one of the x chromosome in female fly of drosophila carried all these genes and the other chromosome was normal the stock which was taken by muller uh, it had female drosophila and in this female drosophila the female drosophila was heterozygous for this x chromosome because one of the x chromosomes carried all the three genes capital c small l and capital b and the other was normal now the method which is used in CLB method of detection is that male flies are first irradiated for induction of mutations uh, or by a mutagen and uh, this mutagen has to be tested uh, whether it is lethal or not so male flies are irradiated for induction of muta for induction of mutations by mutagen and then they are crossed with these clb females so this will be your uh, cross and then after cross uh, you will get generation one of flies so now in this generation one the male progenies receiving clb chromosome will die because the male progenies has uh, one copy of l or lethal gene because of this lethal gene the male flies will die but the CLB female flies in the progeny can be detected by Bari and they will survive although they have lethal gene but they will survive because they have a corresponding wild gene 
uh, on the other X chromosome and they can be identified by uh, from other flies because they have bar eye. We will understand it with a, a flow chart or a diagram in the next slide. Now the third point says that bar eyed female are crossed to normal males. So the CLB female flies which we have found in generation 1 they will be identified with because they will be bar eyed and these bar eyed females are then crossed to normal males in next in this cross so in generation 2 uh, which uh, of flies which uh, we which are formed as a result of cross between bar eyed females and a normal male 50% of the males receiving CLB chromosome will die because they will be having L gene or lethal gene and the other 50% males will receive X chromosome which may or may not carry lethal mutation because it depends on what kind of mutagen it is whether it is um, lethal or not. Now for this you can refer the book of P.K. Gupta and because this picture I have taken from P.K. Gupta you can refer any book uh, to understand this topic but I have taken it from P.K. Gupta. So now we will understand it with the help of this flow chart. So you can see that this is a normal female. This normal female has uh, is heterozygous. Why? Because one chromosome is having all the plus 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 genes which represents wild genes and the other chromosome has CLB genes. C means crossover suppressor, L is lethal and B is baride. Now when this stock of drosophila, CLB stock of drosophila, when it is crossed with male fly which is normal having only uh, wild genes plus 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 genes on X chromosome then uh, when these are crossed these are the gametes which will be formed and after fertilization these are the progeny which we get in f1 generation so this female which is having clb on one chromosome and plus 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 on the other chromosome this will survive and this will be baride the this male this will be uh, this the other female will be normal because it has two X chromosomes, one is normal and all the other one which is irradiated with mutagen, this will be also having, uh, it, 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 this, this is also normal. And the other male which we have got in this generation, this will die because this has lethal gene and there is no other copy of the wild gene. So because of the presence of lethal gene, this will die. Then this is the other uh, male which is normal because it has all the wild genes now from this generation from this f1 generation now this stock of drosophila female will be taken and then this will be crossed with a normal male so this stock of drosophila which uh, why this is special because it has one x chromosome which uh, she has got from the irradiated male and uh, then the other chromosome has CLB genes. So this stock of drosophila is identified uh, from the flies obtained in F1 generation because it will have bar eye and the other you can see in F1 generation does not have bar eye. So this stock of drosophila have bar eye and it has it also carries a chromosome which is irradiated with a mutagen. So this stock of drosophila will be crossed with normal male. Now in the next generation uh, you will see that in this female there are uh, this is a heterozygous female so this will be bar right and this although it has lethal gene but it will survive because it has carried uh, a wild gene also um, which, uh, for lethal gene so it, 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 it will be survive and it will normal then the other female uh, will also survive because although it has a irradiated um, chromosome having all the genes of its um, but because it has plus plus genes 
uh, which is uh, not from non irradiated x chromosome so this will be normal and this will have no bar eye mm -hmm. this female will be bar eyed and this will be no bar eyed so this is how we differentiate that uh, this is the uh, drosophila which has bar eye now this male this male will die because it has only l lethal gene and no corresponding wild gene so it will die because of the lethal gene and the other male it depends whether this depends on the kind of mutagen it is if the mutagen is lethal this male will not survive and if the mutagen is not uh, lethal this male will survive so i have written here there are two cases if the mutagen is lethal it will not survive and if the mutagen is not lethal it will survive so this is how we uh, differentiate uh, this is how we will tell whether mutagen is lethal or not depending on whether the male is surviving or not if we are getting male in f2 generation uh, then we say that uh, mutagen is uh, not lethal and if there are no males obtained then we say that mutagen is lethal so this was x linked uh, detection this was clb method of detection from our experiment that in f in case lethal mutations was induced no males will be observed in f2 generation and if no lethal mutations was induced then 50 percent males will survive in f2 generation so the clb method was the most efficient method for detecting sex linked mutations and it was devised by miller i hope you have understood it and you can refer uh, the books to make your concepts more clear and understand it better so thank you students and we will be meeting in the next lecture now